Hi Aquarius, I hope you guys are doing really well. I want to go ahead and get into a reading for you. This is a relationship energy reading. It's mainly for people who are either, um, it's the person on your mind essentially. So you can be in contact with this person, you might be um, in separation, it really depends on what's going on for you, okay? So let's get into this. And this is kind of a heavy deck to shuffle. Um, can you show me this person's current energy, their feelings. This is this person's feelings for what they feel for you at this time. This person's intentions. Their behavior and actions. your feelings at this time. The challenge between you. Your advice. Potential outcome. And the overall energy. So Aquarius, you have the overall energy of the Five of Swords here. It's, it's a little bit of a harsh energy, I'll be honest with you. For those of you who already read tarot and know these cards, um, the symbology and the meanings. The Five of Swords can indicate where we've maybe been dealing with somebody who's... Mm, I would say somebody who wears a mask, somebody that juggles more than they can handle, somebody that manipulates situations is kind of what it feels like. Um, there's a lack of clarity, it feels like, with this person. And there may be also situations where it's like you may have not been able to emotionally connect with somebody here, Aquarius. Um, it's like they keep themselves as an island. It's like they, they kind of withhold their availability to connect in deeper ways um yeah so their current feelings let's see we have the nine of swords here this can, this energy often can talk about um situations where people are are anxiety ridden they're uncomfortable within themselves their mind they can't get things off of their mind this may be a situation where this person is looking at their behavior this person perhaps is looking at any type of manipulation tactics or negativity that this person may have brought to you um, there may be some level of wanting to figure that out but it's like they're in a deep well they're in a deep hole with this energy their intentions towards you, Aquarius. We have the two of pentacles here. So there's still elements of juggling here. This two of pentacles could talk about weighing out your options, juggling, doing, um, choosing different paths, but also being uncertain about the direction you want to go in. And here we have this juggling energy. Um, yeah, they're uncertain about their intentions with you, but behind this energy, we also have the uh, yin yang. So there's there's a realization here, Aquarius, where it's like they may have realized once it's done that you balance them out. There's a light and a darkness to this, and um, they may have brought the darkness in heavier ways than necessary. Um, and I say necessary, but necessary is the growth that we gain from situations. So all pain is necessary, or at least I see it as such. Um, it's just it's just kind of like radical acceptance is the way I see things. I also come from a very stoic mindset. So it's like, yeah, our feelings get hurt, but we do get over it. We do gain wisdom, right? Their actions and behavior. And this could be the actions and behavior of the past. Yeah, so you have the Three of Swords coming through here. Uh, their behavior, it feels like their actions in the past. There may have been some sort of situation here where it's like you were left off balance with this person. And no matter how many times you tried to balance things out, I feel here that this person wasn't able to access their emotions. It's like they kept putting that on the side. And um, by doing that, it puts you at the side as well, Aquarius. Um, the Three of Swords here... Eh... That talks about pain. It talks about um, mental and emotional pain, uh, breakups, separations, um, you know, 
maybe even third parties, who knows, this can talk about juggling partnerships as well. So if it wasn't a partnership that they were juggling, it just feels like they had other things that they were involving themselves in, which didn't allow for the situation to be, um, to grow in the proper way that it, it wanted to, or at least you wanted to. What are your feelings in this situation with this person at this time? You have the page of wands here. So the page of wands energy is communication, but it's, it's interesting just because if we're talking about communication, it's flirty communication. You may have been the one to do this with this person. I don't know. It feels like somebody here is in the, uh, in their feelings very deeply though. Um, also your feelings, if this is not communicating in a flirtatious way or a fun, excited way with this person, you know, this can also be a situation where you're open to communicating and flirting with other people at this point because you realize you might not have been getting what you wanted or needed out of the situation. Um, this may also be your energy too, because we can reverse the roles. These are general readings, Aquarius. So you may also be the one that may have caused some disturbance here. The challenge between the two of you you have the ace of pentacles so this is to create a new opportunity a new connection here that actually has legs it has the opportunity to grow but that's the the challenge is to create something solid from this your advice here is the ace of cups i feel like I, i'm gonna stick to the original energy that i felt um it feels like this person aquarius is the advice is to make right the advice is to apologize here for whatever's transpired and gone on, to acknowledge what's happened here, possible outcome between the two of you, temperance, so it's Sagittarian energy, but that's to combine efforts, combine energies to get things balanced, to find healing in a situation. All right, so let's go ahead and clarify this Five of Swords first. Show me the overall energy. Why is the overall energy the Five of Swords here for? Okay, a couple of cards popping out. Well, we have the Knight of Swords, I'm sorry, the Knight of Wands and the Five of Pentacles here with the Eight of Cups. Bottom of the deck for that, we do have the Moon, and under the Moon, we have the Ace of Cups. So it may be that there was other energies that were at play in this situation, Aquarius. Um, situations where it's like this person was already operating from a place of lack. And because they're operating from a place of lack, they really have nothing to give. So they manipulate the situations that they involve themselves in. With the Knight of Wands, this could also be like, uh, communications with people at afar, even if it wasn't like in physical, like cheating, it may be like online cheating, um, things that were hidden, you know, things that they actively left a good situation for. But even though it's like the outcomes were still hidden to them, but they remain keeping it hidden to you. Either way, this situation has caused this person to be like left. This causes this situation has caused you to leave and flip the reverse the roles if you're like a cross watcher and this is making more sense backwards um yeah there's some flighty behavior we have somebody that's non-committal here you know we have somebody that like would maneuver situations to suit their needs didn't really mind about hurting you i will also say too here your feelings this can talk about naive energy the, the page of wands it can talk about being naive sometimes in situations why are there int intentions okay so you have two cards popping out for their intentions here we have the three of wands and the two of wands here for their intentions aquarius that's not certain of how to make things happen here it, it's but it's it's interesting because it's like you start out with the three of wands and then you end with the two of wands so it's kind of like a backwards energy like we started out with something that could have had we given the right attention to it had we shared the right amount of like 
value and meaning to something and upheld it in a, in a positive light, it could have gone far. But now it's like we're trying to play recovery energy where the energy that they're going to be met with is the Queen of Swords, which is your energy. Um, and the Two of Wands indicates their current feelings being uncertain of how to create this again, uncertain of the direction that they want to move forward in. I feel like this is a challenge for this person. What are their intentions with Aquarius? Okay, and you have three, three cards popping out. So you have the King of Cups, you have the Justice card, and you have the Knight of Pentacles. I feel that this part, what I'm hearing is like too little, too late, too little, too late. Again, we have the Queen of Swords at the bottom of the deck here, Aquarius. Um, and the King of Cups. I feel like this person had a difficult time expressing their emotions in the past. This may have been somebody that hid their emotions. They may have had some sort of like emotional like distress. So this person may have been in a very uh, toxic position in their life at this point, up until this point. And so it's like, instead of like going within, this person sought out external validation possibly. Um, and through that lack of connection, through that lack of expression and through, you know, the potential of things that are being revealed that weren't spoken about, it's saying that, you know, it gives you the opportunity to focus your, your energies elsewhere, which it feels like you have with the justice card, but it also in the same light makes this person want to work on this harder because they finally do realize that there's like some sort of level of patience that you may have had with them, um, and they kind of ruined that here. So with the two of pentacles, it's saying they're juggling up with the idea of how to show up with respect and uh, duty and honor to make something happen here. The knight of pentacles also shows up with like incredibly slow energy, but sometimes things are slow when they need to heal. I feel like we're dealing with somebody who's kind of getting like a, a reckoning in life here for their actions and behaviors. Show me their actions. That's too many and they're all in reverse. Show me this person's actions and behaviors. Why do we have the three of swords here for this energy, please? Well, three cards popping out. You have the seven of cups, you have the emperor, and you have the seven of swords here with the ten of wands at the bottom of the deck. First of all, this person has been caught or this person has what they've been doing sneaky behind the scenes. It's been revealed. This person did not want to budge. This person was very much about what they wanted. They got very stubborn and very problematic. This energy is somebody that just takes opportunities. They're an opportunist type of energy here, Aquarius, and it's bitten them in the butt. Um, I feel here too, there's also an element here where it's like we are, they're in a position of of observing their own behavior here. And there's a lot of guilt associated with whatever they've done. Yeah, there's a lot of shame here too, is what I'm feeling. It's like they wanna bring back balance, but they need to balance themselves here, even with this. Um, and it's interesting, you here have the, um, your energy here, Aquarius, it's like you have the Ten of Wands in reverse with the Seeker of Flames, the Page of Wands. So I feel for some of you guys, you're, it's almost as if like when things end, it gives you a free license to go and be alive again. It, it gives you a license to realize, hey, this situation didn't honor me, but I'm going to honor me and I choose differently and I'm going to be playful with people. I'm not, I'm going to like do my best to not be bogged down by the negativity of this situation or the betrayal aspects of this situation. It's kind of an interesting Aquarius energy that I'm picking up because it's more cerebral <laughs> than it is emotional. Not to say you don't feel your emotions, but it's almost like doing math equations in your head. Like there's only certain things that add up and so you can't you can't add two and two together and get 16 you know I mean there's um 
there's there's something here where it's like we have this energy about us where we're still not letting it get us down. It may hurt, it may sting, but we're not letting it rule us. And I feel that you are open to communication with other people. Um, and if you are open to communication with this person, I feel that it, it may surprise them because through your own level of understanding and healing that you go through, it may be something where it's like you can see past, no, not see past, you can see what situations were, you can see what they were about. And it's like, you're not affected by it where this person's very affected by it, which exactly needs to be the place that they need to be in being affected by what they've done here. Um, which kind of gives you a weird edge. I like that because it's like, you're almost acting as if you're like unfazed. There's kind of a carefree energy that comes through with you about this. And I like it a lot, actually. It's like through this separation, you've been able to rebalance yourself. You've been able to give yourself some love, some attention, some, some consideration and kindness here. The challenge between you is the Ace of Pentacles. That's a, a beginning, but with stability behind it. And that's a challenge here. the ace of pentacles you have the ten of cups in reverse here and you have the fool at the bottom of the deck aquarius so uh the ten of cups in reverse it's even in reverse it's still it can it's kind of like the nine of cups there's still emotional connection um involved in it it may not be truly satisfied. It may also be a situation where it's like you can't emotionally rely on somebody, you know? There may be an issue with that as well. It's like you might not be able to rely on somebody. And so you see the situation in kind of like this weird like emotional math equation. Like, you know, oh, I love this person. I thought so much of this person. I wanted this situation to be so much more. And in my heart it was, but they can't come forward with an opportunity that actually makes sense to me. And so it's like I release certain aspects of it. But then it's like we have this trying to create new what's under that, the Six of Cups. So there's could be a desire for reconciliation on this person's standpoint, from this person's standpoint. Um, let's see here. Can you show me one with the Ten of Cups in reverse here for Aquarius? Why is this with the Ace of Pentacles? Yeah, Ace of Cups, it's right there. Seven of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. So what this says to me, Aquarius, is that there's a, it's not just a reconciliation, but it's a reconciling of patterns. It's, it's a recognition of patterns, recognizing patterns and situations. And I feel like that's less about you and more about them. I feel like this person has a history of uh, disengaging from situations that are actually good. You may be dealing with somebody who has anxiety about showing up or being present in connections in a full and intentional way. It's like they only allow their heart to be filled to such a capacity and then they have to turn away just because they can't process being present for more. And that sounds really unfair, you know, and it may lead to unfair behavior, but sometimes people who are disconnected from their feelings can only feel so much, you know, before they run for the hills. Um... And then we have that Ace of Pentacles popping up. I'm sorry, Ace of Cups popping up. And there it is again. With, and again, we have the, the, or actually, again, this is at the bottom of the deck, the Fool. Um, I feel like there wants to be some sort of shift and change in here, but you're going to need to figure out if this is something that can provide you with emotional security. Show me the Ace of Cups here. Six of Pentacles here. And I will say, bottom of the deck, the split like this, we have the Sun and the, the Three of Cups. Um, 
which can talk about reconciliations. It can talk about alleviating a very stagnant energy between the two of you where things can be fair. Either way, I would say expect some sort of like recognition or apology from this person. Um, you may be dealing with somebody who's got a lot of heaviness in their heart regarding their actions in a situation, regarding the lack of attention and energy and consideration they gave to you and how they treated this connection. I feel that you've learned a lot about yourself and you've learned even more about this person through this experience. That helps you make more decisions. Show me the potential outcome as the temperance card. Yeah, if there's been a lack of clarity or a lack of communication here, Aquarius, I would say that that's going to shift. And again, we have this fool at the bottom of the deck here. So, um, Six of Cups, I would say that there's likely going to be some sort of reconciliation here or some sort of like at least opening of communication. Can you show me here for Aquarius? So we have the book. This can talk about um, a, a story unfolding, more to come, you know, and also oftentimes to the right of this card will be what is to be kind of highlighted, the next phase, the next chapter in something here. And we have the balancing out of this alchemy card, the, the temperance energy with the two of swords here. So I feel a lot is gonna change through communication, but that's something that this person needs to do. Um, it feels like you need to kind of just tend to yourself and do what's fair to you. Um, whether or not you decide to move forward with this person is entirely up to you. Can you give me one more card? Actually, two more cards on the top and the bottom. Or, yeah. So we have the Five of Wands coming out in reverse here, Aquarius. And then the bottom of the deck, the Tower. And that's the energy that I'm feeling here. It's like... This next chapter and how this shifts is going to change very rapidly, but I also feel that it's something that you need to take slowly. Um, it, whatever communication is coming through here, whatever acknowledgement or honesty is coming through here, I feel that it's important for you to listen to just because this is also indicating a new chapter in this person's life. We don't have to combine books. We don't have to combine stories, but it feels like this person is entering into a new phase and chapter within their life that may have taken a long time um, for them to kind of get to this position to accept this type of shift and change and do the work for it. The five of wands in reverse is saying an end to conflict, an end to frustration. Um, and through this open communication, it feels like the things are going to shift very quickly for both of you. And again, whether or not you decide to come back together is entirely up to you. But I would say that things are moving along in a very rapid succession here. Um, yeah, I would say be open to communication because it feels like we're going to be getting some clarity on things from somebody who was very unclear within themselves, even in the past. So that's what I have for you here. I hope this is helpful. Feel free to check out any of the other readings, con uh, comment, like, share, subscribe. You can contact me. My info is in the description box below. I love you guys. Take care. Bye, Quest.